It is no secret that health care systems have been overwhelmed this past year, but in some parts of the state that issue isn't specific to the pandemic. In rural Maine, it's just harder to provide 24 seven care because there often aren't enough practitioners to manage that demand after hours and on the weekends. A new initiative in Jackman is addressing this issue and could be a model for other small towns to follow in the future. New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow visited the Jackman Community Health Center yesterday and has the details for us this morning. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Sharon. Good morning. Yeah, this project has been in the works for four years and is finally taking off. Essentially, it's allowing paramedics who work in the area to take classes to expand their skill sets so they can respond to urgent care situations without needing to send a patient to an emergency department far away. One of the keys, they would be providing this care while connected via telemedicine to doctors in Bangor. It's an initiative that could save money, time and travel in the long run. Being rural um, really is a, an, a, an interesting challenge. Um, we are at least an hour and a half to two hours away from the closest hospital. In Jackman, healthcare options are few and far between. Butch Russell and Jason Gray know that all too well. They work here for Northeast Mobile Health Services as paramedics, covering square footage equal to the size of Rhode Island. In addition, they say the Jackman Community Health Center has had trouble finding 24-7 staff. As resources um, you know, start to go away, uh, communities are forced to look at um, taking care of that need. A partnership is aiming to do that by helping these paramedics expand their skill sets so they can provide care when practitioners aren't available. The eventual goal. If we can keep you from having to go to the hospital two hours down for something that may take 45 minutes to address, then that's what we want to take care of. These paramedics are taking classes online via Eastern Maine Community College to learn more skills like ultrasounds, wound care, and casting and splinting. They will also do clinical rotations at St. Joseph Hospital's emergency department in Bangor. These are the physicians they will eventually be connecting with via telemedicine when helping patients. Right now, the model is an iPad with an iPhone on a headband. Dr. Jonathan Busco created this program. He says the need for more sustainable health care in rural areas like Jackman is critical. If you look at the top two predictors of community stability, their health care and schools. This initiative doesn't come without a price tag. Taxes have gone up about 30% for taxpayers, but even so, they voted for the town to implement this project. Every day now, it's a bit closer to the finish line. We're estimating that by September, we'll be ready to um, not have physicians on call. An exciting prospect for all involved. This is a really good thing for paramedicine in that it'll show that we're capable of a lot more than we're being allowed to do. And a $1.2 million Health Resources and Services Administration grant is also helping to fund this project. Eight paramedics are training now. EMCC classes began last week and clinical rotations at St. Joe's are expected to start soon. Live in studio this morning, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.